Hey guys, Vertex Education here with episode 12 of the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series. And in today's episode, we're going to be showing you how to import your own custom static meshes into Unreal Engine 4 from a third party modeling package. So, having said that, we're going to be taking a model that I've got here. Um, this little character and we're going to be using him as essentially a statue. So I'm not necessarily going to be showing you how to model your own stuff in 3ds Max, I'm going to be leaving that to a different series. However, the, mo the main point is we're going to be showing you how to bring in something from 3ds Max into Unreal Engine 4. So let's just go ahead and get started here. So previously I showed you how to drag stuff into the, con into the scene from the content browser. We also need to be able to import our own stuff. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and export this little character or whatever you want to use. If you wanted to, you could just go ahead and create a simple box model just like this and export that. But I just want to show you, uh, you know, something a little bit more complex to show you how easy it is to even export the, mo uh, the more simpler objects. So once we got it in our scene and we got it centered on our little grid here, let's just go ahead and go to the file button and just go to export. Now keep in mind the process is going to be exactly the same from pretty much any other um, 3ds mod, uh, sorry, 3D modeling package such as uh, Maya, Blender or likewise so you should be able to follow along if you're using those. Just go to file export and then we'll get this little dialog that opens up and this allows us to save the file so what I want to do is I want to save it onto my desktop or some place that I can easily remember it. So I'm going to use the desktop and I'm going to save it as the file name statue. Now the next part is the most important in this dialog. We need to be saving, at, uh, saving the file as either an FBX or ASE. But the reason for that being that uh, these are the model formats that Unreal Engine 4 supports. Now I definitely recommend using FBX as you know it's the primary model format that it uses. It has a whole bunch of extra features like you can import skeletal meshes, animations and so on. It's just good to have a standardized format. So I'm going to be saving this as FBX. And I'm just going to call this statue and I'm going to leave it on my desktop. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and play around with some of these little properties for export. For example, I want, might want to export smoothing groups, I might want to triangulate the mesh, uh, and so on and so forth. But I'm just going to go ahead and leave those uh, at default for now. So I'm just going to go ahead and press OK. And then, once I've done that, we can actually go ahead and bring up the engine. So just give me a second here and I'll do that. So, uh, here we go. So, let's just go ahead and bring up the engine now. I'm just going to open it up. And inside of the content browser, we've got a few ways of importing this. So if I go over to my desktop here, the first one being that I can just simply drag it in like this. Or alternatively, the uh, the the normal way of doing it is just going ahead and pressing import, uh, import in the top left here and then just going to your desktop or wherever you save the mesh double clicking on it and it will open and then we'll also get this little FBX import options dialog from here we can play around with a few things for example if we want to we could import materials textures uh, we could invert the normal maps we could uh, import mesh LODs, combine the meshes if you have multiple pieces and so on but I'm just going to be leaving this at the default for now. You can also import skeletal meshes or animations seeing as that is uh, other asset types that FBX imports but for now we're just going to have a static mesh because it does not have any bones, it does not need to move, it's just going to be a standard model. So I'm just going to go ahead and press import and in just a second you should see it pop up into your content browser uh, if you do get a little out of date FBX issue uh, like this, this might be just because you're using an, uh, an old version of a 3D modeling package. For example, if you have, say, uh, 3DS Max 2010 or Maya 2010, etc., etc. So make sure you do upgrade. It's not, it's not really, really important, but it does get rid of the errors, and uh, there may be a few little things that may annoy you in the long run. So now we've got this in here. We can, if we hover over it, we can see the amount of triangles vertices, materials, and so on. And if I double click it, we can see it properly inside of our little, inside of our static mesh editor here. Now, let's just go ahead and drag it into the scene, just by dragging it in as simple as that. 
And that's pretty much everything for importing a custom static mesh into the engine. So over the next few over uh, a few videos, we're actually going to be putting some materials on that, some textures and materials onto this, playing around with diffuse, specular, normal, uh, and so on and so forth. So that's pretty much everything for this video. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.